Hello and welcome to episode 60 of Let's Plays The Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time, Three Heart Challenge. I'm Shade Fortress. Oh, sorry, more thanks. And, and, and I'm Cthulhu Luigi. Yeah. My friend is with me. And as you just heard, he isn't. He's known as Cthulhu Luigi. Uh, I'm not messing up totally. Okay. So this is like the most confusing dungeon. Oh, right. You're supposed to wait until it goes on its back. Yeah, I'm used to the ones in Majora's Mask, or maybe the ones I don't know what I'm used to. At least Adult Link can kill the thing so much easier with the long shot. Yeah, I think I remember usually using a ranged weapon that's better than the slingshot. Aw, oh, slingshot's pretty useful. Um. So this whole area is like pointlessly big, there's just way too much stuff that doesn't really do anything. And I found that by a complete accident. Yeah, I like two or three alcoves like that. Hmm. All I have to do is keep going to the wall. Wow. And I can already use my first small key. And I really don't know what the point of much of this is. Uh, use your lens of truth. I don't have it yet. Oh, right, yeah, I'm thinking of Majora's Mask. Uh, or you get that, like, right off the bat. Here's the rupees. I predict I there being a read at around... Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess I'm supposed to stun it? I like this little area full of dead hands in the water. Ow. That hurt. Well, they're not really dead hands, they're just... Dead hands. Oh. Where are more of those Very rupees? important distinction. Speaking of dead hands, that's like the coolest boss. They should have brought that back in more Zelda games. Hmm. Do you see any more rupees? Uh, I don't even remember what those do exactly. I thought they made the ladder up here. <laughs> well, clearly it's already here. Right. But no, I'm pretty sure like this whole entire area is optional. Oh. Like, right where you entered the well, there's an area you crawl through, and then there's the boss and Lens of Truth behind that, and I don't know what the rest of this dungeon is even for. Oh, I already found the way out of here, because this was totally not predictable, right? <sighs> I think you can follow some of the bubbles around. They go through some of the invisible walls, but... Oh. Again, this... It's more of a confusing dungeon than anything else. Isn't this the first thing I killed? I don't know, they respawn, but there's also a lot of rooms that look like that. I guess I could try going up this ladder, or just look up. Hmm. Doesn't seem like this is the exit. Maybe it is... Yeah, it is. Ooh. Stupid way was obviously wrong. Oh, I think you need to drain that water somehow because you need to go down there. I think I, I did that like by accident. I distinctly remember that, yes. Oh, wait, you can use bombs here. I remember this as well. Looks like you can use the bloody bill drill there. Hmm. Don't remember. But see, I can go down there. Ow! Douchebag. This is another small key, right? Nope, bomb shoes. That was totally important. I don't... I guess this would be one of the areas where bomb shoes would be useful. Because you can, like, set them ahead and you can see if they fall or not. But bomb shoes are weird. Okay. I totally guessed at that. In fact, maybe I should go this way. Hmm. I remember there being. Yeah. There's a tr pitfall in there. Yeah. Now I have to. Roll out. Okay! That was good, right? At least I get rupees. Oh, sweet. 20 rupees. A bunch or was that 40? Or 30? I don't know. Ow. 
I remember falling down here way too much. This area reminds me of like the aquatic mine or something with the little skulls. Oh man, aquatic mine. That stage is kind of annoying. Uh, speaking of which, I still need to start up my Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play, but I've been kind of doing my Sonic Adventure DX Let's Play finishing that off first. Yeah, I need to... Next time Ice comes over here, we need to finish up my run of the multiplayer of that. Ah. Even though I haven't unlocked the last multiplayer stages because my file got corrupted. At least in that, they actually made the multiplayer interesting because, uh, ow. Well, if you ask me, the multiplayer is so much more interesting because they threw in those, like, clone attacks where you could just randomly dick over the other player, mm -hmm. making it unfair. Yeah, I thought that had pretty good multiplayer. Best multiplayer Sonic game, of course, is Sonic R still, but... Hmm... Do you think I should go across here somehow? Uh, I think one of those doesn't have a pitfall. I guess you could try it. Let me guess. This is the pitfall. Right in front. Oh, nope. I think the big one's the pitfall. Yeah, I remember that. How do you get across the pitfall then? I think you can walk around it or something. Hmm. Or maybe not. I think you. Uh, I think there's like an invisible wall behind it that you can go in through. Oh, come on! How do you get stopped from climbing a ladder? I thought that those things had to stare at you. And of all the things that would like shock Link, why would it be the Reeds? You'd think that some other stuff would make him scared still, too, if those could. I don't know, maybe it's just a super ability. Of yeah, it sharply lowers his special. or sharply lowers his defense. <laughs> this is Pokemon, right? Mm hmm. Okay, I am still lost. It's in the hallways or something where the bubbles fly around. There's like a switch you shoot and that drains the water, I think. Well, that's interesting. Or that. This is still the wrong area, because that's not a big chest. Yeah, the area is right near the beginning where there was that little underwater area. You need to drain the moat and then crawl down under there. I think What's... that thing might be it. Oh yeah, I should probably try that. Ow! I'm gonna die, right? This guy has a team of six level 32 Pikachus. Um, that's not stupid. Oh god. I think... Try killing the... Uh, I don't know, look around in that area, I remember it being something around there. Maybe bombing one of those will drain it, I don't know. Ah, uh, there we go. I have no idea why there are so many keys in this area, considering most of the doors are pointless. Eh, this dungeon's just here to a mind fuck you, I guess. Yeah, oh, it's there sort we of go. Rudo training ground. Oh yeah, I, that guy. I remember that now. Here's the Triforce thing I need to do. Come on. Do, 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 do. I should totally mute aim there. I totally will cut that pause out. Okay, puff, there we go. Puff. I am no match for you, as I predicted. Go ahead, since I met you in Burden Tower in Eureka Take City, I've sort of known that Suicune would choose you. Take a look at it, Suicune is waiting for you. Yeah, oh, this guy's gross. Mystery man you've seen, you are not um, a very good NPC. 
I guess there's no point over there, but that's why there's other areas of this place. Anyway, yeah, just run back to the beginning and then the lens of truth's over there. Okay. Beginning is over. Oh god. Stupid bubble. Little things just are randomly annoying. Where was the beginning? Down right here. here, just drop down in that. Okay. Pit. Oh, I see the treasure chest down there. That's the most important thing in this dungeon. And then I can go down there as well. Bombs? Yeah. Did somebody say dongos? Whoops, I forgot to heal my Pokemon before fighting a sweet king. 